everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. That's right, it's four, under 40, episode number two. All right, so we are back with a second installment in this series. And we have two new contenders taking on the top two from our first episode, which I will link above. So a real quick uh, spoiler alert for those that didn't watch the first episode. Stop now. Go watch that before continuing. But our two winners from that episode were currently sitting in first place, Cooper's Craft Reserve 100. For those, quick recap. Hunter Proof, Brown Foreman, Delicious Juice, uh, and the claim to fame here is that they chisel the barrels after charring to allow greater uh, whiskey exposure to the wood. So this was our first place in episode one, and it is back tonight to defend its crown. Back in the number two spot, Woodford Reserve, the special holiday bottle here. I got second place in episode one, so it's back to not to fight it out again. And for those that just don't remember, coming in at 90.4 proof is the Woodford Reserve. Here it is, our first new contender, none other than Eagle Rare. That's right, this bottle in PA is like. $29.99 or like $30.99. A little harder to find, I know, but it does count in the under $40 category. So, this gorgeous bottle. I mean, there's really not a more American looking bottle than this. We got the Eagles on here, a few stars, this, this awesome font. And then, where this really shines is the back. I'll put it up on the screen so you can read it at your leisure, but Beyond the age 10 year mark here, we do get a, a, a few fun facts of well-written marketing. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, the cornerstone of the birth of a nation, epitomized by the American bald eagle. And there's more just like that on the back. I mean, fantastic stuff, and usually fantastic juice. So we'll see how that does tonight. Now, there it is. Early times bottled in bond. I asked uh, the Facebook group, what do you guys want to see? What do you want to see in the 4 under 40 category? And I got the most votes. At early times, early times, early times bottled in bond. I got the most votes for this. Um, big shout out to uh, John from Gentlemen and Whiskey. I put their uh, YouTube channel in the description, so if you haven't checked them out, please do. He was kind enough to loan me this bottle uh, with the promise that I didn't chug it. So we won't be doing that tonight. Uh, but it is in this blind. So, crowdsource for you, it's in here. Now, disclaimer, disclaimer. This is the Sazerac edition of Early Times Bottled in Bond. Oh! Gasps! I know, I know. But listen, the video earlier in the week, spoiler alert, go watch that if you haven't. This is not as good as the Brown Foreman once was. So everyone clutching their bottles of Brown Foreman at home, I had to pick the Sazerac because it's what's available now. Last but certainly not least, hopefully tonight, Early Times is in there because of all the fans. All right, <clears throat> so just like the last time, these are poured blind by my lovely wife. And they're in these uh, fancy colored glasses. So uh, if you guys like the colored glasses, let me know in the comments. I was using clear and just saying, you know, clear glass one, but I think the colored ones come through a little better on camera. I know you can't see how dark the whiskey is, but in these blinds, um, when some are darker than others, we, we don't really want to see that. Uh, but if you guys like the colored glasses, if it's easier for you to follow along, let me know in the comments. 
All right, so you might have noticed the wardrobe change. We had a technical difficulty, and in fact, the camera did not record uh, the remainder of that tasting. So, a day later, when I went to edit it, we discovered that. So my wife uh, re-poured these blind, so never fear, we still don't know what they are. So, I'm gonna drink through them tonight, and we'll keep on going. All right, glass one, the gold Glen Karen. Let's fire up the nostrils. I'm getting some like fruits on the nose. Some vanilla. It smells a little young. I get a little bit of graininess on the nose. But overall pretty pleasant. Some vanillas. Some oak in the background. Let's take a sip. Not bad. I get some of those stewed fruits. Finish goes real quick, kind of fades real quick. Um, it's like a burst of flavor and then it's out of here. We'll do one more here. The second sip, the flavors kind of start to run together. Um, I do get the fruits, a little bit of oak on the back. Tastes a touch youthful, um, but very quick finish. And the nose is actually a little better than the palate, if I do say so. All right, glass number two, the green glass. This has a, a totally different nose, I will say. It's like confectionery sugar. Some fruits on this as well, but this smells like a like a can of cream corn cracked open right on top but in a good way it doesn't smell like that bad youthful corn let's take a sip of this one um pretty pleasant the same exactly the same as what i smelled comes through on the palate kind of that cream of corn little burst of fruits in the front some vanilla Finish lasts a little bit longer than one, but I'll say the flavor's not quite as good, so I still think one's better. All right, the blue Glen Karen. Now this smells really good. So this smells sweeter. I get that cherry cola hint. Uh oh, I think out of these bottles up here, on the nose I get Eagle Rare. Um, I also get like a peachy scent to this as well, in addition to that cherry cola nose. Let's give it a taste. Delicious. Easily carries that cherry cola note through to the palate. The most oak. I think that's Eagle Rare. So it's obviously the oldest one here by far if it is. Um, delicious blend of flavors. So far, this is number one, and I would say the gold Glen Cairns number two, and the greens number four, or number three. Sorry. All right. Last but not least, the red Glen Cairn. Wow, this just smells like a deep pool of caramel, or caramel, however you prefer that pronunciation. Wow, just like heavy, heavy caramel scent, some vanilla, I get an oak backbone, a very, very good nose. Let's take a sip. Wow. On the palate, this is the thickest by far. Coats the whole palate. You just get a heavy caramel sweetness. Maybe a tinge of corn and then a little bit of oak in the back on this one. Very good. Let's go for a second sip. That's delicious. That. Whew, that's in first place right now. So let me um, go back through these off camera quick and then we'll come back with my uh, rankings and predictions. All right, we're back. So. I went back through these off camera. 
A lot of similar notes, but I, I'm going to go through them just one more time just to tell you what happened. The order did change. So in last place, it's actually the Gold Glen Karen fell to last when I went back through. The flavors just kind of muddled and just ended up in like a generic sweetness. And although the nose was good, a lot of the flavors got lost. So last place went to gold tonight. In a surprising twist, this got third, the Blue Glen Karen. I believe this was Eagle Rare, but going through the first time, got those delicious notes of like cherry, cola, peach, right? Good oak flavor, but going, it started to get kind of astringent and almost, it turned almost a little nail polishy going back through the other two. So, this was very close to number two uh, tonight. Number two actually ended up falling to the Green Glen Karen. So, the green, I know we said like cream of corn originally, right? Going back through, the corn dissipated and we actually started getting like a slight banana note on this. Just very pleasant. These two though, very tough battle. Very tough. I believe it's actually the Woodford and I believe it's the Eagle Rare. That Woodford Holiday Edition bottle is a killer. I believe that was 2020, so I'm sorry, we're in 2022, but that was 2020 Holiday Bottle and that is a killer bottle. Um, the youthful notes I got originally on this really disappeared going back through and it really started to shine but I had a tough time between these two this was second tonight so in first place the Red Glen Karen huge caramel bomb um, you know some vanillas in there it really just the finish lasted and lasted had a good bit of spice to it um, it just out kind of just outshined everything by a little bit tonight so I believe this is a Cooper's Craft. But let's grab the answer key and uh, see if I was right. Alright, in last place tonight. Early times. I know, everyone asked for it. Oh, early review early times, best bottle. Uh, I got last tonight. Now, I know, again, this is the Sazerac and everyone probably has the brown foreman in memory. If you watched the video earlier in the week on Tuesday, you'll know that it, it did lose. So... The new early times, uh, while well, good, hey, it's a great bottle for like 25 bucks for a liter. It's a great value. Just didn't, tonight did not hold up. In third place tonight, which I expected to get at least first or second, was the Blue Glass, which was Eagle Rare. I did call this one. It was Eagle Rare. Um, I like Eagle Rare, but as hard as it is to get, folks, Woodford Reserve which was the green glass, ended up beating it by a slim margin. I could go back and forth on these, but at least equals, right? Which leads us to the winner, Cooper's Craft Reserve 100. Look, there is a reason. There is a reason the old red glass here was in my top 10 bottles of 2021. This is a hitter. I know for my PA followers you cannot find it in PA, but please, when you go on vacation or make the trip out of state, pick it up. This is a fantastic, underrated bottle in my opinion. It really punches in like that $50 price class, even though it's I bought this one for like $33 bucks in Virginia. Not sure what MSRP is, but this was like $33. Bucks. Um, really good product. from If you like the Brown Foreman profile, this is for you. So. Cooper's Craft retains its crown as a number one, so it will be moving on to episode number three. And, in a finish we did not see coming, or I did not see coming, Woodford Reserve fights on, fights on, and stays in second place tonight, beating out Eagle Rare. This bottle is getting a little low. I will be sad, sad, sad when this goes. Um, I may have mentioned it before, at least in my top 10 bourbons of Christmas video. Um, this holiday bottle is better than the regular Woodford I had. Now, I don't know if Woodford intended that, but this bottle here is a damn hitter. 
Now I got this in late 2020, so it would have been like Christmas of 2020. Um, I know it's a, I know that's a ways away, but there probably is still some of these suckers sitting around on shelves. Maybe, maybe. If you see this bottle, please pick it up. It's fantastic. So literally episode two and we're fighting on with the champions from one and they stayed. Even against Eagle Rare and the fan favorite early times. So we have a few more in this series to go. But please comment if what bottle under forty dollars would you like to see put up against this? I'll go buy it and compare it. I will. So everyone if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more. Have a great evening, everybody.